Hello there, my name is Terry Collins. I'm the Teresa Hines Professor of Green Chemistry at Carnegie Mellon University, and I'm the director of the Institute for Green Science, the big team of people that put together the water project that we're presenting to you. Everyday Everywhere chemicals are threatening us as much as climate change is. But we often aren't aware of this huge threat to our kids and grandkids. This is the mind-boggling other great challenge of, to sustainable living. These tiny traces of chemicals that we've made to advance our civilization turn up coming back, getting into water, and literally wearing life down, eliminating fish, damaging the plants. It's like a science fiction horror story, but it's true. What we're finding is since 1973, in the Western world, that's Europe, America, Australia, New Zealand, sperm counts, on average, have dropped by more than 50%. So what kind of compounds are causing this? BPA is an estrogen, it's a female-like hormone. Phthalates that we, we use all over the place, these phthalates are antiandrogens. They impact the reproductive development of whatever species they're exposed to. Our technology, called New Tamils, can be used safely and easily by pretty much anyone anywhere. What we've done is we've looked very deeply at the enzymes that we have in our livers for detoxifying chemicals. We've produced miniaturized replicas, less than 1% the size of the enzymes, that actually outperform the enzymes in, in taking a simple oxidizing agent that you can go and buy in the local store, hydrogen peroxide. Take tiny quantities of hydrogen peroxide with infinitesimal quantities of these catalyst mimics, that we're, enzyme mimics, in water and very quickly destroy the chemicals that are causing the problems. And that's like having fire in water. It's, it's amazing. We actually can burn these chemicals out of water really, really quickly with almost nothing there. So a really big part of the problem is that these contaminants in our water, they pass right through our wastewater treatment systems. They weren't designed to remove synthetic chemicals. They were designed for disinfection. For centuries, our understanding of toxicity was that as long as you aren't exposed to too high a dose of a chemical, it's not going to have a toxic effect. The dose makes the poison. We now understand that this thinking is completely wrong. Uh, there are many chemicals, especially endocrine disruptors that mimic hormones, that actually have more toxic effects at lower concentrations because hormones are naturally designed to work at low levels. So if you're exposed to a hormone mimic, it's going to have a much larger effect on your body, cause much more harm than it necessarily would at higher concentrations. So where are all these chemicals coming from? They are the pesticides we use to grow our food. They are household cleaners that we use in our homes. Uh, they are the drugs that we use to treat disease. Cosmetics that we apply to our bodies every day. Uh, and the flame retardants that are in our couches and in our TVs. We've created these new Tamil catalysts, an entirely new way of treating all types of water. This new solution, it's the result of assembling an international team of experts from all the different disciplines required to tackle this huge global problem of how do we get these synthetic chemicals out of our water. We are ready to take it from the lab out into the real world. This is very exciting, but it it's requires a huge effort and needs a lot of support to make it happen. We already have partners lined up in Europe and the United Kingdom who are ready to have us implement our technology uh, for municipal water treatment, wastewater treatment. In Africa, we have a lot of contamination issues. We all are looking forward to using this catalyst to solve our problem. We are also in direct contact with key partners in China and India who are very eager to use our powerful water treatment technology to treat their water problems. We want this key step of taking our technology from the lab into the real world to start in the United States. We want this to be a US-led initiative that then spreads to the rest of the world. 
we're working together to solve a really big problem. And what we can do is use some of the new materials that we are developing in my lab to create even better catalysis systems. Um, so we can have solid state materials that then tether these molecules that we've developed to enable us to have a really good technology for drinking water purification. We are going to revolutionize how water is purified, making it easy to get these otherwise difficult contaminants like BPA, hormones, drugs, and pesticides out of any type of water anywhere. When I teach this stuff, when I think about it, when I interact with my colleagues or the wonderful colleagues I have around the world who discovered all this endocrine disruption, I know that we now have to deal with it. That we chemists have to take it on board, we have to teach it to our students, and we have to find solutions. And that's what this whole team is about. Understanding the problem and finding the solutions so that there can be a good future for the kids and grandkids.